This is when things get real in the Europa League. It is time for the final, and there can be only one winner. Who's it going to be? Stay with us. We'll have every kick of the ball for you live next on EA TV. And this is it. The majority of fans are inside the stadium now, and the tension is palpable here ahead of the UEFA Europa League final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me in the commentary position is, of course, Stuart Robson. And we're just moments away from kickoff. It is Juventus up against Sporting. Well, what a night for these two clubs, Derek. Both will be desperate to win this trophy. You can just sense the tension out there, can't you? I've got a feeling this will be a great game. And the starting lineup for Juventus. Wojciech Czesny begins in goal. Juan Cuadrado starts with Filip Kostic on the flanks. And up front, it's a man with a genuine nose for goal, Arkadiusz Milik. the lineup for Sporting. Well, they've got a good front three and a solid back five. But with only two in midfield, they could get overrun. It'll be interesting to see who comes in to support them, if anybody. And now the big day is here. It's the final of the UEFA Europa League. I'm Derek Ray, and as always on these big occasions, I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and England defender Stuart Robson. We're on the cusp of kickoff. It is Juventus up against Sporting. Well, Derek, this should be a can't miss, surely. Well, goodness me, into the goalkeeper's grateful grasp. And this is how Juventus will line up. Wojciech Szczesny between the posts. Juan Cuadrado starts. Oh, denied by the post. And a penalty awarded. Spot kick coming up. Can he make it 1 0? And the spot kick is converted as calmly as you like. And here's the replay, and he just strikes the ball down the middle. The goalkeeper gets out of the way. It's a really good penalty, and no danger that the goalkeeper is going to save that. It's a really disappointing effort, goodness me. On that occasion, just didn't make the right sort of contact. Should be testing the goalkeeper from that sort of range. Losing possession. Takes it on, and throwing himself up the ball. Let's see about the delivery. Well, clattered away. Could be dangerous. 
A Juve free kick here. Federico Chiesa. Moving it forward. Di Maria. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Can they hit on the break? Defenders need to cover. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Now doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. And a throw in for Sporting. Now what on earth happened there? Wants to attack from the wide areas. Angel Di Maria is ready for it. A deft clearance. Now sliding in field. Locatelli. On to Di Maria. Now the attack fizzled out. Chiesa. Chance to cross. Rabio. They were playing fluid football, but then the foul, and now you would anticipate a yellow card. And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. And disappointingly, straight into the wall. Great chance to make it a brace. But the keeper had his say. Well, he has to get a second goal soon. He's been brilliant today. And now the delivery. Well, he couldn't get the header on the target, but robust defending. As you can see, Juventus have dominated the possession in the last 15 minutes. And their attacking play has been excellent. Surely only a matter of time before they extend their lead here. And the penalty has been given here. And now to level the game. And that is when you need your goalkeeper. Played over. Cleared away. Well, another corner hot on the heels of the last one. No real challenge for the goalkeeper. Really a very poor ball. Kadiusz Milik. He's lost the ball, Juan Cuadrado.
Oh, offside. How marginal was that? But the flag is raised. And players waiting in the centre. Gatti. Di Maria. Gives it a go. Well, not too far away at all, but getting underneath it ever so slightly. Sitting ever deeper. And with tackling like that, the onus is on the referee to take action potentially. And the yellow card for that, Stuart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge. Well, clattered away. Well, the supporters think it's on. Locatelli, can he find the net? Putting his body on the line, and the counter-attack is on, options available. Well, that is how to play advantage. And out of play for a sporting throw-in. Now the referee was of a mind to see whether anything would come of that, but now he's going to hand out the caution. And he was never going to get away with that one. It's really good refereeing. It has to be! Well, really, making the goalkeeper's life simple. That should be hit in the back of the net. That was a big, big chance. A Juve free kick here. Federico Gatti. Well, we're at the halfway mark here at St. James's Park. It is the Europa League final, and they are underway. The quest for Europa League success, and the second half of this final is underway. Juventus doing well to regain possession. Di Maria sliding it through. That is a really disappointing effort, goodness me. On that occasion, just didn't make the right sort of contact. Should be testing the goalkeeper from that sort of range. Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. Well, really calm, composed goalkeeping there. Certainly was on the second attempt. It was the first save that really stood out. That was a brilliant piece of goalkeeping. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in. Nuno Santos. In position. Wonderful block. Gets in the way once more. Ugarte. Can they cover up? And off the bar that time. Well, as you can see, it wasn't even close, was it? No debate about that one. Who's going to get on the end of it? That's high-level goalkeeping. Well, that's a fantastic save. He's such a good keeper. Well, behind for another corner. And there the attack ends for now. Kostic. 
poor attempt at a pass, really. This attack looks highly promising. Di Maria! And a goal! Well, I won't get tired of watching this. It's an outstanding bit of play. Just look how far he runs with the ball. That's a great goal. So underway once more, 2-0 the lead here. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Not a good place to win it back, and let's see what it leads to. And he could really get at the opposition. Chance here, and it's in! This game very much back on as a contest! So continuing with the action, interesting to see what happens from here. Sporting back in with a shout. Oh, the threat is there. An alert piece of defending. Sporting with acres of space out wide. And he's through here. Oh, a goal! He's equalised! Was he made for moments like this? On an occasion like this? So back underway. The game having been squared at 2-2. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. And time for the change now. Radio. Chiesa. Could be. Well, unfortunately, he couldn't keep the shot down. Couldn't keep it. Pedro Gonzalez. Is it going to be? Oh, good technique in terms of how he struck it. Here's something you don't see too often. Juventus making a triple substitution. Paul Pogba. Juventus keep possession, and it's positive possession. What can they do from this position? Rabio And throwing himself up the ball. And played in by Di Maria. Oh, it's in! To give them the lead! the final the stuff that dreams are made of well here it is again and you have to say it's the perfect delivery into the danger area which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end it's a really good goal Dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Ugarte. And the ball with Pedro Gonzalez. Able to skip past his man. Well read by Pogba after the cross. Oh, the referee points to the spot. Penalty.
Chance to even things up here. A goal! Accurate from the spot. Well, here we can see it again. Cooper's gone the wrong way, and it makes for a fairly easy finish in the end. That's how to take a spot kick. And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. Real chance! And he read it really well. Fine save. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, the danger is still there. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Alexandro. Gatti. Tension building still level. Can he put them in front? Pivotal moment defensively. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Pogba. Pogba! Oh, just narrowly off target. Well, they broke with intent. Fantastic move. Just couldn't quite cap it off. And Juventus getting forward. A goal at this late stage, and that might be that. Oh, a goal! Late drama here, and surely that's one hand on the trophy. So little time left for a response now. Well, just watch this again. It's a really good goal. But it's no surprise, is it? They've been in complete control here. A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? And a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Might be a chance here. Still could be dangerous. And thumped away. Vlaovic. This could be it. Chiesa. Chance to play it in. Paulinho. How can they turn one of these attacks into a goal? Well, a good place to win it back. This could level it. Pretty straightforward defending, dealing with that cross. And there's the whistle. This UEFA Europa League final has been decided. And my goodness, they deserve it. Disappointment on one side but sheer jubilation on the other. Well, relief and joy, I would say. What a great achievement this is, and so well-deserved, as you mentioned. They were excellent tonight. What a good performance that was. The party can certainly start now. That's a party to last throughout the year, I should think. They're very happy to be celebrating good times in the Europa League. And now, the trophy awaits them. Well, these are always great moments for any player. This is the culmination of a great tour that they've had. They fully deserve this victory. Every player played his part tonight. This is what they've wanted. Now it's in their possession. The winners of the UEFA Europa League.